he told me the judge talk louder so i begin to talk louder what are you doing what's with this uh, behavior and he said to me if you think you are an arrogant person you will make you harm and i said i did I, i'm not an arrogant person you said to me to talk louder I, this is what i did i talk louder please you got to let me to the hospital and i said to him i it's not possible a few minutes and i asked him are you a doctor and then the judge get mad and uh, file me um, 1000 lay and the judge denied uh, my uh, demand of uh, going to the hospital i told the judge my condition i uh, said to the judge that is bad and i have to humiliate in the front of him in front of all that people in the, the courthouse <laughs> on the february 2018 was another uh, date of the at the courthouse and my supervisor officer asked for uh, the arrest and i was a mess there i didn't know how i were i arrived to the courthouse i was taking pills for my heart condition for my disease i was taking a lot of pills i didn't sleep and um, i don't know a judge a female judge um, Mrs. Blanariu Ancuța, Mrs. Judge Blanariu Ancuța, started to proceed there and started, uh, she told us that uh, she will take the case from now on and will judge the trial. And um, he, they discussed the prosecution uh, asked for my arrest. The, this officer asked for my arrest. Even the uh, officer of... Uh, the the injured party it was not an injured part that threatens all the time all three of them asked for my and i was sure i was going to the prison house or the police arrest and i explained with proofs to this judge that i didn't do wrong anything and i act as the law says and the judge uh denied all the prosecution and this my supervisor and all of them denied this right this demand denied after this the judge told me and saw my condition and saw that i was acting right to get me out of the house arrest and for me it was a big surprise i didn't i couldn't believe it on 0103 2018 this judge started to clean up on these things that were happening in this trial she started to search for the truth and see how are uh, what are these problems in the trial so the angel party's brother was caught in the court filming the whole process and he was not allowed he was 
uh, evicted uh, outside and he, the, his phone was uh, taken by the, the judge. <laughs> I will have the incredible luck of finding one witness that she saw everything about the gunfire. She saw uh, how uh, Jose Onuts attacked me. She, she saw everything. She saw that he went to his garage and got something, but she couldn't saw what it is because he, she was at a bigger distance that I was from you know, this uh, fretting guy. And uh, she uh, confessed everything to the judge. I had a witness. <laughs> Next was my wife and uh, Jose Onut started to make fun in the back of my wife and the judge saw and I interrupted the judge process and the trial and I saw, I, I tell her, um, excuse me, this is not an attitude in this uh, courthouse to make fun, to make noises and uh, the judge tempered him and then the judge asked him why do you this is the important part he asked him why do you demand from marky shamil uh, 10000 euros she asked him are you physically hurt did he hurt you she, he said no uh, marky shamil he did not hurt me but why are you asking you are physically or psychically hurt uh, what's with you please explain him he let him talk sergio pasco had different attitudes said hey, don't interrupt me, don't interrupt me. He often used the expression, do not get in conflict with the court, do not get in conflict. He didn't let you talk. He was doing the talking, your honors. As long as Sergio Lupașcu was judge, the, the trial was pure to, to make me guilty and to condemn me as quick as possible. It was just a formal thing and the approach of Mrs. Blanariu, Mrs. Judge Blanariu Ancuța was a different kind of approach. She had a different approach. She let us talk, she asked us questions, she let us answer and didn't block us. He, she didn't have that uh, wrong and that kind of attitude. I, uh, I was it was an awful thing hearing the judge he said a couple of two or three times in the dates i was arriving to bacos court sergio lupascu said a couple of two or three times to the entire uh humans uh, the entire people that was in the uh, court this is the last round or this is the bottom line be careful this is the last run at me here 
and when you hear these words is not easy. So the approach of uh, Mrs. Judge Plenary Wankutsa was a different kind of approach. She was impartial and she caught Hozionuts with the lie in the court. After she asked him if he is, uh, uh, has a hurt or physical hurt or psychical hurt and he, he didn't have a straight explanation, he told her that he doesn't leave the house anymore and this is the situation. And the, the judge didn't see this as a good explanation for the 10,000 euros that he, he demanded from me. And she asked, so Mr. Hozu, I didn't get something certain from you. You say you're hurt. You say you have uh, problems, but you don't get as often as you got out of your house. But I ask you, did you go to a um, psychologist? And the injured party said no. And she asked him, why not? He didn't have an explanation. And his lawyer took the word and said to the judge, he was shameful to go, uh, your honor. And I got to tell you, all the people inside the court uh, started to laugh. Uh, figure out a bodybuilder who threatens a lot and asked for 10,000 euros, put people to witnesses to lie in their statements, and the judge could not believe it. Then it came the first witness of his, uh, Dragos Pintilea, who uh, testified that uh, exactly like in the statements that he didn't saw Hozu come to me and attack me and that I shoot uh, without a reason and uh, said uh, some other interesting stuff. His kid was near to me. They mounted, they mounted there a couple of kids. But they contradict themselves because the uh, gunfire was in Saturday and they invoked that is a kindergarten there. But Saturday the kindergartens are closed, are not opened. So he said who is, uh, was the, his kid and with another kid and uh, he didn't go to take his head for uh, when I shoot the, with a gun and he didn't talk with his head in the house. And he didn't talk anything about this uh, uh, shooting, this uh, fire. Am eu, doamna președinte, din fereastra dumneavoastră putea vedea corpurile întregi ale părților ale lui Cozu și ale lui Marchi și adică vedea toată persoana sau de la așa. Da, În fața cărui gara se aflau părțile în momentul acestui incident? În fața cărui gara se aflau părțile în momentul acestui incident? După ce a văzut acest incident, a închis geamul și s-a văzut de viața lui, sau ce-a mai făcut dumneavoastră lui Camargo? Ce-a făcut dumneavoastră? Deci, până în momentul în care a venit poliția, nu fără de aceea. Am luat copilul și am plecat la antrenament. Și pe care am luat copilul și am plecat la antrenament. De unde era copilul? Și s-a vedea direct incidentul? Copilul sau? Copilul, da. L-a văzut? Da. V-a povestit copilul? L-a văzut ceva? Nu, nici nu s-a văzut. Să se sumeți înțelepte că copilul nu i-a menționat nimic de acest incident. Copilul era afară, însă nu mi-a menționat nimic. Copilul era afară, însă nu mi-a menționat nimic. Despre acest incident. Nu am avut discuții despre acest incident.
Nu a văzut martorul nici în moment pe pozul avansând în mers spre Marcheș? Te-ai luat venit din Splitini după ce ai scos tu apă? Păi... Corect! Te-ai luat venit din Splitini după ce ai scos tu apă? Păi... Corect! Te-ai luat venit din Splitini după ce ai scos tu apă? Păi... Corect! După acest incident, Pozo a vorbit cu copilul dumneavoastră? Cred că da. Nu știu. 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 Ne poate preciza martorul, nu în de distanța pe care nu poate indica expres, apreciază că un glon de care ar fi fost tras, chiar și de cauciuc, ar fi putut oricând să atingă copiii din cele două grupuri? Doamna președinte, aici e foarte important că a spus că a tras în plan vertical. La a a tras în plan vertical. Să știi exact dacă putea, să putea... Să a luat o zonă de pericol, atunci aveți de dat, i-am înțeles, dar trebuie să se formulez. Și dacă ar avea amabilitatea colegului să nu se ocupă chiar la toate întrebările, am fost seama că se amabilitatea. But in the statement, he said, what if that bullet came through the ricochet in his kit? How? Through the mid-air? So they started to talk aberrations, a lot of aberrations, and started to talk nonsense, to contradict their self from the statements. In one statement, he said it was a five or six kids. In the front of the judge, he said two kids. Then after this date, I was so happy that the truth will rise and started to rise. And uh, I had a positive thinking. I was like, at last the truth will, will come and uh, the judge will, will see this. Uh, after the summer, um to the next trial in the next date in the autumn when i step into the courthouse the first judge returned i don't know the reasons i don't know why he left i don't know why he did uh, return to the courthouse and when i saw again sergio pashku i was dejected Next was the statement was of the next witness named Marius Constantin, who lied also exactly like in the statement, who said that Hozu Yunuts did not attack me, that I was shooting uh, uh, without a reason. And uh, after the gunfire, he came down from his apartment and uh, go at the press to give a press uh, interview. This was his reason. I told the judge that Dragos Pintelie, the first witness, could not see physically the shooting and the attack. Next, I give the confessions I recorded before with in the public space with the hidden camera of these two witnesses and i told sergio pashku that is not physically possible that one and this is an important thing is a very important thing one of the witnesses could not see could not see the attacking route of hozio nuts he had the window at the four floor and he said he stayed on the window he has visibility on the back of the garages are a lot of our eight or nine garages and he has the view on the back of them the entire action was in the front of the garage in romania a garage has two meters more than two meters i think and the attacker that converted to the injured party had the route between his garage and the car between his garage and the car are two meters the witness that has the window here cannot see between the garage the beginning of the garage and the car on those two meters that he come to me i told it this incredible fact to the judge and he accepted my evidence my two filmings but he accepted he told the uh, the injured party's lawyer let's accept marcus evidence on, on this tone and 
I was uh, in my mind I was oh something is wrong he will not accept them he accepted but he didn't take into consideration this was a big big problem um, Jose Unutz had a third witness a girl she told the judge that uh, she didn't saw what uh, happened if, if uh, Jose Unutz attacked me but she saw that I was going back to my home with the gun in my hand before the decision of this judge I uh, went to him and saw I had eight I was rising to seven or eight criminal lawsuits complaints uh, given to the police and the uh, prosecution of uh, the city Baco and show him in the videos how he threatened me how he attacked me his brother uh, all of these things I will show to the judge and the judge said to me to go and make complaints it hasn't have a lead to the case it doesn't have anything to do with the case Kozionu started to threaten me on the hallways of the courthouse and uh, I talked with uh, the policemen that I responsible with the peace there um, they came into the courtroom and uh, I told to the judge I was threatened I said they the policemen come to back up my story they saw I was threatened by uh, Jose Onutz and Jose Costello of his brother and the judge said both of us that this is a criminal law another criminal law case and to be careful but he didn't ask I told him to ask the policeman he didn't ask them anything so I was disappointed and uh, even I give a lot of evidence to this judge to see the behavior of, uh, of this man to see that his friend he could make an image about his behavior his lawyer saw that his story it's not working with the friends because i threatened him was not uh, uh, retained he made the story about being afraid of me his client being is afraid of me because i shoot in the air but his client had eight criminal lawsuits complaints and you cannot be afraid when you threaten that guy they were threats from Hosionus to me in the continuous form so I told to the judge and the, he, the judge didn't listen so the judge in the, my conviction he paid Hosionus he paid him for threatening me it's unbelievable it's unbelievable he paid him 400 euros as moral damages and uh, I had to support all the expenses with his lawyer with um, he, he went eventually to the psychologist and all this expensive uh, I had to pay them and I didn't I, I, I couldn't believe it it was something mind-blowing it was something mind-blowing so we come me and my wife and sometimes my kid come here at the office to work and Jose Onutz on 1305 2019 saw us um, coming out from our personal car and he blocked a, a street he got out of his car and started to threaten me in front of my family my wife gets scared and my kids started to cry and i filmed everything i filmed everything to to have a proof and i didn't send anything to this uh, to this individual <laughs> Uh, I made another uh, criminal lawsuit complaint to the police I went two times to the uh, its prime prime prosecutor in Baco it's the chief of uh, the prosecutors and she said to me that uh, she talked with the prosecutors in Baco she told them to make their job but uh, 
uh, it's a problem, uh, they won't listen, and she said um, everyone pays with their head who don't, who will not listen. But uh, after a month, the prime prosecutor, it was a lady, she, um, I didn't found her anymore there on the prosecution offices in Baku, and I don't know what is the problem, she left. And this is a strange thing, what things happen in Baku, I, 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 I don't, I cannot believe it, even in this very day, uh, how many bad things and illegal and unmoral had uh, happened in this trial and in uh, the law legal system in Baku. If in 1405-2019 was this problem by this individual uh, threatening me in front of my family, when 2505-2019, so after two weeks, he go further from the threats, he actually hit me with his car. He saw me at uh, 50 meters exactly because I went to his garage in a day. It was Saturday and though they don't have a schedule Saturday at uh, their work. So they're not working. And I went to film uh, that witness blind spot um, and I went to, to this, this garage and I have the bad luck of seeing him at the, his car coming in front of me and he hit me sideways with his car he saw me he didn't stop he come direct in front of me i get out in the front of his car and he, he hit me sideways i was in filming there before he came up and um, i filmed the entire scene <laughs> So then I went to the police again and made another uh, criminal lawsuit complaint. Um, I published, I begin to publish everything on internet and when I publish and I publish on Facebook, on groups and the uh, people started to take my side and tell me go to the police, I will give you an attorney with these films on the internet, the community of Baku started to saw the truth a little bit and why, what I'm confronting with and from four criminal lawsuits uh, files that were open, some of them were closed. One of them went to to preliminary room. It's called Camera Preliminar in Romania, in Romania, and um, it went to the courthouse. This was incredible hard for me with so many threats, with so many um, uh, proofs to start just one, one I was rising to 12, to 12 or 11 or 12 uh, complaints for threatened, that is a, a criminal also complaint. Um, I was having 10 or 12 uh, complaints by then. And one of the files had opened and went to the courthouse. This was an important thing. He made an appeal. Can you believe it? He, he made a call, an appeal. Appel, it's called in Romania. Um, he made an appeal because 400 euros for fretting me was not enough. He wanted the full 10,000 for fretting someone. Unbelievable. And I made an appeal also because I was convicted and why I was forced to pay him for moral damages. Can you believe it? Oh, 1,500 euros, something like this was accumulated. In the appeal, he uh, threatened me on the hallways and he showed me obscene signs on the camera. And uh, at the first term, I was uh, talking to the judges, was two judges from this time, and the appeal are to the judges. I told them this problem and this individual uh, did not present for the first term. 
to the second term, um, something extraordinary has happened. He made a denouncement. Yes, you heard me right. He made an denouncement. I was telling to the judge, judge, this is not possible. I am convicted of a crime I did not do. I was just in self-defense and no one believed me about this. I have proofs. I have two recordings and then they eject and they denied my recordings. They was they said the recordings are not taken by the court in evidence. I was said, okay, but I want to tell you a big problem. One of his witnesses, he has two witnesses they, that they saw, that they claim that they saw. And one of the witnesses could not physically see when he attacked me. So the judges uh, feel like, what do you mean? They confess they uh, saw this. And I said, yes, but one of them could not physically saw the, the act of uh, Hozionuts attacking me. They started to ask us question. How is the distance between his window where he said he saw and he started to make some mathematics. What is the distance between his window from where he saw, he was telling he saw the act? And how is the distance, how is the height of the garage? And what is the distance between your car, where you stayed, Hosea Nutz, and your garage? And Hosea Nutz said 550 meters between uh, his window of the witnesses and uh, the front of the garage and the judge asked but uh, the action was in the back of the garage no and i said no the action was in the front of the garage and the judges get, got confused how uh, how was in the front of the garage and i said uh, it's really simple the garages are uh, parallel with the witnesses building and uh, they said Please describe a little bit. The judge's attitude was really nice that let me talk. I was very surprised. was an, a, a different approach than the, the judge from the background process, uh, Sergio Pasco. I was insisting that a win that witnesses, Dra Dragos Pintilier, could not saw anything because it's physically impossible. And then Hosionus make the biggest denouncement there is. And he told the judges that we were, both of us, we were at the big distance from his garage. I could not believe it. Uh, this, in the entire process, this, this was the biggest confession there is. And I, I said to the, to the judges, you, did you heard of what he said? Did you hear? Please ask him at what distance and where? Please ask us now. And the, the judge asked him a little bit where was the garage, uh, how was the garage position. But the judges didn't realize that the injured party, injured party, was telling the biggest, the biggest confession on this trial and the biggest confession I was waiting to hear. And I don't think these judges realized. Și ceea ce, ce s-a întâmplat a fost în fața garajului, la distanță mare de ușile garajului, chiar în, să zic așa, în partea carusabilă, dacă aș putea spune. Bun, și era pe așași latura, deci era la... Latura, sau ușile garajului, pe partea opusă, într-adevăr, dar v-am zis, noi eram mult depărtați de garaj. Noi eram mult depărtați de garaj. Noi eram mult deportați de garaj. Aveam mașina scoasă din garaj, ușile erau închise, eram în spatele mașinii cu propagajul ridicat, pregătind să-l închid pentru a pleca. Când s-a întâmplat incidentul, eram pregătit să intru în mașină. Eram pregătit să intru în mașină. Eram pregătit să intru în mașină. So I made a movie like I made for you. I made a movie 
and I explain to the judges with the four proofs, four proofs that I have. I even told them um, a procedure, a special editing, video editing procedure that they can establish the authenticity of a one filming. So I was being able to establish the authenticity of, of Dragos Pintilietor's 12 minutes authenticity to make the authenticity because that one was straight from camera and I can prove it that it didn't suffer modifications. I was accused of, of being in this domain, this multimedia domain, that I was cut off or split or uh, unite a couple of clips. Uh, I was messing up with them, which is not possible. You can see I have uh, uh, on the disc for you, your honors. Um, all the proofs in original and some of them subtitles and then i appealed to the judges human side and i asked them to put them instead of me to see what these people lying people did to me and in what situation i become they let me talk 30 minutes so 30 minutes was mind-blowing for me i talk and i explain the situation i explained that hosio nuts lied in the first statement uh, i explained that i have an interview from the press that i put it to you uh, your honors uh, i explained to the judges i it confessed in that interview to the press to the national uh, television press and i explained that in the date of the appeal of 22.10.2019 in the previous term of the appeal he confessed hosionus confessed in front of you and told you that was at the big distance from uh, his garage he admitted please uh, hear this and see what the contradiction is in what he's saying in the statements he told other judges that he stayed to the car he didn't move from his garage from the car in front of you he came and he tell he, he told you that he was at the big distance very big distance from the garage both of us w were so how cannot he attack me if we are both of uh, a long distance from the garage so how come is this so after this uh, on 70 this was the last term on 70 on yes 70 12 2019 and on 19 12 uh, 2019 after two days i was uh, going here in the office to work to beginning to begin work and hosionut saw me outside he uh, got out of uh, his car i was taking my boy in my arms and uh, because my wife gave it to me and went in his, in the office to work and take care of my son um, and uh, Hosjonut saw me outside he got out of his car and started to threaten me and swear me for my wife and my mother and my father who knows he's dead and uh, started to threaten my family with uh, they will kill me and uh, with act of violence, his usual threats. So what was the decision of these two judges of the appeal? On the civil side, I won. On the civil side, I uh, didn't have to pay anything. All the expensive remained to Hosio Nutz. Saw the judges that defend me a lot, and he didn't have uh, the quality of uh, the injured party anymore. But they kept the on the criminal side, on the criminal law side. They kept the motivation of the previous judge to keep me convicted. So I can't believe it. With these proofs, they still keep me convicted with four proofs undoubtable proofs and with the even he um, admitted in front of the judge what he done and they i was still convicted in the previous motivation of the first judge on the background process of sergio pascu he 
light into his motivation. He said about my wife that she didn't knew in the uh, previous, in my childhood, that I was having problems with uh, Jose Nuts or Jose Costello or this family. In the front of a judge, my wife she said clearly that she knew that I had problems. So the judge tried to make me in his motivation a bad guy um, image. So uh, he lied. So my wife said exactly the opposite things. The second trial, which I'm hoping to start, I have the quality of injured party now, if you can believe it. And Jose Onuts has uh, is not a defendant yet. Something like uh, a man that do a uh, illegal thing or a criminal thing, but the prosecution didn't think that it was that awful. So uh, that that one is for the thirteen zero five. 2019 when he threatened me and I filmed it with a mobile phone in front of my family and my wife was uh, is a, a witness and the proof is the, that film uh, the original file from the mobile device mobile phone and in the courtroom he showed me obscene things and I announced the judge and the judge called this judge called the police and took it uh, away from near me and the policeman uh, made a order there. I sh I talked to the, the judge and I show him 16 or 17 proofs, evidence that he threatened me. And from threats, he started to uh, hit me with his car. So uh, from words, it started to get into the action, this uh, threatening individual. So when the judge saw that he turn uh, and return to the prosecution the file to complete that file to start the process and i'm hoping from all my soul that we we'll start the process to make uh, small justice in baco in uh, in my case your honors i don't want to talk a lot of me but i want you to make a small images based on facts i like to talk with proofs every time your honors i want to make a small image about me to see exactly who am i so i finish a faculty here in romania in the city baco um, and in the second year i made four years in the second year i uh, finished with uh, the degree of 9.7 which uh, from 10 it's uh, very very close and in the third year of uh, the faculty i was sent to the marketing olympics as uh, the best student uh, how my teachers did uh, describe me then i have a master also in uh, economics in marketing the license in uh, faculty is with 10 and then i go to the master and uh, uh, take a degree with 9.63 as a company, I have a multimedia company in the city Baco. It's a local company. We have partnerships with uh, big multinational companies and uh, also with companies, local companies, with uh, company, we made uh, documentary films. We have two divisions, one division of documentary films, video clips, conferences, and one which is the uh, with weddings and baptisms. In documentary films, we are awarded with uh, appreciation, certificates, and a lot of diplomas that uh, it's on the wall behind the camera. And um, um, we have a lot of consideration and appreciations from the Roma Institutes, we started to work with uh, fashion designers, with uh, and we started to work with company in uh, Romania, which are very big. We started to have conferences in the whole. It's called our young projects from young people, our inclusione sociale. Also from that division, we have a collaboration from 2018, started uh, to have a partnership with uh, I'm grateful uh, for being and have a partnership with uh, uh, mondial organization it's something big for us and uh, it's a lot of work i don't complain from work i would like to work and um, on the weddings i have hundreds of families that uh, 
that had come here until this uh, process they respect us and it's not zero but it's affected a lot of our images and a, a lot of family supporting us until this uh, incident this unhappy incident and uh, I'm, I'm hoping to gather my energy because this lawsuit uh, had put me to the ground and uh, I hope I can recover from head I don't have power too much to work now but I'm not leaving my clients my uh, few clients that I have now I'm hoping to rise my energy somehow I hope and I think this is where you intervene um, your honors to bring the justice and make the things right I also have a weekly show is called i technology reviews is on youtube and a romanian addressing in english um i uh, started to have i i uh, achieved 8 million almost 8 million views by now in rising 8 million persons that saw me learn from me and i have a lot of appreci appreciations from the americans great britain india it's an international appreciation that I was cannot believe how much people I can get around with my ideas. I have two unique ideas in the world on YouTube. I made some inventions in electronics, especially and cars. And uh, we are I, I'm promoting and uh, unboxing uh, and showing uh, tips and tricks. Uh, to people a beautiful speaker a great product so we had uh, some small problems with the battery i want to make this video to help you guys because buying this speaker worth every dollar honestly to a smart tv well this tv is 4k come with the bluetooth unlocked with that video with the stereo microphone for you to hear this speaker how it sounds and you better listen when we'll do the testing with uh, the headphones be sure that you have a good quality headphones to listen to the speaker yeah center for your home for your tv it's a h96 max a 4k ultra hd tv box i believe this is the improved versions it doesn't say on a ball companies compete to one to each other welcome back technology lovers we brought to you the philips sensor touch 3d the 9000 series philips promises that this machine is for the best machines there is on the market e bine avem un sistem inteligent pentru voi astăzi care vă asigură protecția autoturismului prin sistem de alarmă motorul model ar fi cel cu pager din care poți controla toate funcțiile autoturismului din acel pager și se poate pune de exemplu după aceea pornirea de motor eu vă recomand să vă cumpărați direct S96 cu pornire motor SIM Bluetooth și nu vă mai trebuie acel pager ca să vă încurce newspapers uh told that I was convicted, that I had to pay uh, moral uh, damages, that the, the papers did, did, did not uh, get the new information of me winning the appeal. On the civil side, I lost my image. I lost, I lost my health. This painful trial affect my kid. I get a disease, a heart disease, a heart condition. I lost everything inside. This is not an exaggeration. This is what I'm living now. I'm living a nightmare. We took a lot of damage for this trial and the prosecution could make things right from the start and he can avoid this trial. And I wasn't in a, uh, home arrest or uh, in um, judicial control or um, all these things that people found out about me me being um, I, I being a, a, a working person all the people knew about me and uh, we even uh, saved or prevent better saying a two-year child in the book arrest as um, we've been told about Pro TV, 
or Antenna 1, are two biggest uh, television uh, broadcast stations in Romania. And uh, they given us uh, the honor being uh, that uh, boy. And uh, some cars uh, were about to hit that boy. We prevent and block the street to prevent other cars by hitting. And we protect that kid. My wife take it in his arms and protect that uh, kid until his father showed up. Gabaiețel, iar o a treia frânează salvator la timp. Vă avertizăm că urmează imagini care pot afecta emoțional telespectatorii. Mai mult aflăm acum de la colega mea, Ana Maria Rus. Ana, bună ziua! Bună ziua, Monica! Bună ziua, doamnelor și domnilor! Șoferul, a cărui cameră de bord a surprins incidentul, se întorcea spre Bacău din București. În afumați, mergea pe banda întâi, iar în fața sa circula o dubiță. La un moment dat, copilul iese din dreapta alergând și ajunge în strada plină de autoturisme în fața mașinii. Ca prin minune, șoferul dubiței trage de volan spre stânga înainte să lovească mortal copilul. Pentru asta taie însă fața unei mașini de pe banda 2 din același sens. Șoferul a Acestuia. Acestea a reușit să evite și el impactul cu dubița. Din spatele lui însă vine o a treia mașină care tocmai vrea să tragă pe prima bandă. În timpul manevrei copilul apare și în fața acestea, dar conducătorul îl evită miraculos. În urma lor, băiețelul rămâne blocat, speriat în stradă. Bărbatul care a înregistrat totul ajunge primul la copil și reușește să-l ia din drum. Imaginile arată limpede pericolul de moarte prin care a trecut băiețelul. Șoferul care asista la scenă și soția sa sunt uluiți. Uleu, uleu. Vai, mâncața, Stai, bule, bă. Bă, tu e nebunită. Doamne, ferești. Imediat șoferul oprește, pune mașina pe avarie și împreună cu soția sa îl protejează pe copil. A fost um, un șoc, mă, gând, mă gândesc că și eu sunt mamă și putea să fie copilul meu acolo. Instinctul meu primar a fost să oprim mașina și să iau copilul din stradă și să-i căutăm părinții. Când am oprit mașina, am chemat copilul spre mine, l-am luat în brațe, am întrebat um, unde-i mami, unde-i tati, dar el nu era prea mic ca să vorbească. Copilul era speriat? Era dezorientat. Prima reacția mea a fost să opresc mașina și să blochez sensul de mers. Am pus pe avarii și am coborât, atenționăm participanții la trafic să încetinească, să chiar să oprească, să nu care cumva copilul să sară pe, iarăși pe sensul de mers și să-l lovească cineva. Era o curte, o firmă, ceva de genul acolo, copilul a ieșit, nu știu exact din ce motive, orică părinții nu erau atenți, orică acel copil a reușit să tragă de zăvor și a plecat afară. Cum era firesc, cel mai afectat de întâmplare a fost șoferul dubiței care a trecut la câțiva centimetri de copil. Acesta a avut nevoie de minute bune pentru a-și reveni, spune martorul. În zona a apărut apoi și tatăl băiețelului. Tatăl ce a zis? Cum a explicat a zis, faptul că a ajuns copilul de mașină? Nu a zis nimic. A venit, copilul, a venit tatăl, a luat copilul și i-a zis așa, mulțumesc printre dinți și a plecat. O mașină a poliției locale a sosit la locul incidentului și agenții l-au luat la întrebări pe tatăl copilului, care trebuie acum să explice cum de a ajuns fiul său în mijlocul străzii printre mașini. So this is my real image, our, my family real image, without exaggeration, because I like to talk with facts, your honor, and uh, not with words, with facts and with proofs. I uh, appeal to you from my soul to bring the justice to Baco because I'm not the only one convicted. There are a lot of people I talked and are a lot of people with problems, with uh, armed safety uh, trials, with illegal trials, with illegal procedures, um, unfair procedures. And I appeal to you, I ask you, Uh, as I can, uh, that it's all in your hands to um, give me back my health, give me back my images, give me back for you, it's possible these things, to give me back my image as a working man, as my dignity, to give me back this, to give me back my honor, uh, to give me back and make things right. I want justice i want justice and i want them to pay for what they done to me 
I appeal to you and I'm sorry I couldn't make this uh, uh, movie. Um, I know it's large, but are a lot of proofs and it's a lot of talking, a lot of details. So your honors, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for spending time with this case. I bow in front of you. Uh, have a great day. Thank you.